determine the z parameters for the circuit in figure here in this circuit we have to determine z parameter for this t network solution first we will write the equation for z parameter so the equation for z parameter is v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 now here in this network this will be input voltage v1 and this will be input current i1 and here this will be output current i2 and this will be output voltage v2 now here to find these are the z parameters z11 z12 z21 and z22 these are the coefficients of i1 and i2 and these are the z parameters so to find z11 to find or consider for 2 as open circuited and set i2 is equal to 0 if we set i2 is equal to 0 when we open circuit this terminal this will be positive and this will be negative and we will consider this voltage v1 only then this current i2 will be equal to 0 so when i2 is equal to 0 that time v1 is equal to z11 i1 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 so therefore z11 is equal to v1 divided by i1 when i2 is equal to when i2 is equal to 0 and z21 is equal to v2 by i1 v2 divided by i1 when i2 is equal to 0 now next is we will consider port 1 as open circuited and set i1 is equal to 0 so when port 1 is open then i1 will be equal to 0 now when i1 is equal to 0 here in this equation then v1 is equal to z12 i2 v1 is equal to z12 i2 and v2 is equal to here v2 is equal to z22 i2 this term will be 0 z22 i2 so from here therefore z12 is equal to v1 by v1 by i2 when i1 is equal to 0 and z22 is equal to v2 by i2 v2 divided by i2 when i1 is equal to when i1 is equal to 0 now we have the values for z parameter now here in this network we have to find z11 z11 and z11 is equal to here we can see z11 is equal to v1 by i1 here this z11 is equal to v1 by i1 and v1 is this voltage v1 now we are considering consider voltage v1 and open circuit port 2 open circuit port 2 this is port 2 and this is port 1 So here this will be a voltage source this will be v1 and this will be v2 
left here according to the direction of this current i1 this will be positive this will be negative this will be positive this will be negative so this is mesh number one suppose so we have to find v1 so v1 is equal to this 20 into i1 plus 40 into i1 the current through this 40 ohm will be same i1 because this i2 is 0 so v1 is equal to here we can write v1 is equal to 20 i1 20 i1 then plus 40 i1 40 i1 now here we have to divide this by i1 so this will be 20 plus 40 60 i1 divided by i1 so this is the value for z11 and it is equal to 60 ohm so therefore z11 is equal to 60 ohm then next we have to find when we are open circuiting port to that time we can find z11 and z21 so next we have to find z21 z21 is equal to v2 by i1 so here in this circuit v2 is this voltage this voltage will be v2 the voltage across this 40 ohm because this 30 ohm is open circuited so that's why the voltage across this 40 ohm will be v2 so we can say v2 is equal to 40 into i1 v2 is equal to 40 into i1 divided by i1 so this will be 40 only this i1 and this i1 will get cancelled so z21 is equal to 40 ohm then next next we have to consider next we have to consider port 1 as open circuit consider voltage v2 and set or and open circuit and open circuit port 1 so here we have to consider this voltage v2 as a voltage source this will be v2 now from here from this condition when we are when port 1 is open then we can find the value of z12 and z22 so z12 is z12 is equal to v1 by i2 so here v1 is here we can see v1 is the voltage across this 40 ohm and the current through this 40 ohm is same current that is i2 because i1 is equal to 0 since i1 is equal to 0 the current through this 40 ohm will be only i2 so v1 is equal to 40 into i2 v1 is equal to 40 into i2 divided by i2 so therefore z12 is equal to this i2 and this i2 will get cancelled so z12 is equal to 40 ohm then next and last is from this condition when port 1 is open circuit then that time we can also find z22 and z22 is equal to v2 by v2 by i2 so here in this circuit v2 is equal to 30 into i2 plus 40 into i2 30 into i2 plus 40 into i2 divided by i2 so this will be 30 plus 40 will be 70 i2 divided by i2 
So this I2 and this I2 will get cancelled. So therefore Z22 is equal to 70 ohm. Now we have the value for Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So therefore the impedance matrix or the Z parameter is given by Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. This is called as impedance matrix. Now we will substitute its value. So Z11 is Z11 is 60. So here this will be 60. Then Z12 is Z12 is 40 ohm. So this will be 40. Then Z21. Z21 is 40 ohm. So this will be 40. Then Z22. Z22 is 70. So this is the final impedance matrix. What we have to find? Determine the Z parameters for the circuit in figure. So here we have to determine Z parameters for this network. So this is the final answer.